from Omaha's weather leader, meteorologist Caitlin Harvey, with your accurate weather now forecast. 517 here on your Saturday morning, starting off with clear dark skies, a little bit chillier this morning, and that is due to our clear skies. It's allowing any heating we got yesterday to escape through the atmosphere. Right now, though, taking a live look, gorgeous from 27th and Douglas. Temperatures in Omaha, 29 feeling like 29. Lincoln, though, 24 feeling like just 18 and 30 and Red Oak feeling like 24. Yeah, so those feels like temperatures a little bit cooler for us here this morning, and that's even just with our light winds. Winds staying between about uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour, though even lighter for a few. We'll watch these start to pick up a little bit here for your afternoon. Becoming windy, though, tomorrow. Today, not so bad, maybe just a little bit breezy at times. Satellite and radar over the last two hours. Very quiet it means we're going to have lots of sunshine here for your Saturday here in the next couple of hours. Check this out. We're going to warm up pretty quickly thanks to our abundantly sunny skies with highs today back into the 60s. 66 this afternoon, Lincoln and Omaha, 68 to Kama, 62 for Fall City as well as Carroll. Now wind gusts today. Check this out again. Pretty light. We're up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Not too terrible. As we head into tonight, though, these do start to pick up a little bit, but still a far cry from what we're expecting by your Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow, gust possible between 30 to even 40 miles an hour, and it's that combination of dry conditions, our very dry fuels, warmer temperatures, and those gusty winds that are leading to fire weather watches. So all counties here in the orange. This does even cross over to Monona County on the Iowa side, seeing near critical fire danger expected. I fully anticipate this being upgraded to a red flag warning, if not even expanded to more parts of the region. It means that any fires that do develop going to spread very quickly and be hard to control. So be extra, extra cautious as we head into the weekend. Sunday, though, first day of spring. And we're going to have those spring like allergies, maple, juniper, elm, that's all tree pollen on the rise, medium high for the next several days. But rain chances going to help those allergies uh, improve a little bit, especially by Tuesday, looking like more of a washout. But with our very dry conditions, of course, we do need the moisture uh, this weekend, though. Fantastic. No excuse not to get out.